The Streets Unseen is a video collection of videos in different parts of a ambiguous city that explores the graffiti and street art that's basically unseen. The box tour project is a video virtual tour of Winona. We have it set up so that there are designated spots on the floor that signify area zones of Winona. And if you step on it, it triggers a randomized video of that area so that the viewer can see a spot or a shop or a location of Winona that they might want to visit or enjoy. And if you step on um, a zone trigger, it will randomize a different video each time. So you can step on the same spot and you'll get a different video. A nonprofit okay. service provider and advocate working to improve the quality of the legislature established schools, quote, to prepare teachers for the common. The Bowman House is a bistro themed restaurant that was started by three interesting men. The artist. Ahoy, mateys! Welcome to A Pirate's Quest, an augmented reality game developed in Media Labs. It's a scavenger hunt, treasure hunt, that'll take you around Winona State's campus. Broken picture, pieces scattered. To the owner, just it mattered. Fragments unseen to the eye. Covered with the years gone by. Will the master potter find all the pieces lost to mind? Will he pick them up to mold another picture to behold? Not So Fresh When You Have Senioritis is a media dance performance that explores the feelings, stereotypes, emotions of attending college and the relationship between video and dance movement. The still and humid day of August 21st, 1883, resulted in a tornado that would impact Rochester and the community forever. The tornado devastated the town, flattening buildings, scattering debris, killing dozens and injuring hundreds. The Mayo family survived the storm by taking cover in a blacksmith shop. Little did the community know that this tornado would result in the beginning of a healthcare organization that would become number one in the world 
over the course of 150 years. So for our project in Creative Digital Media Lab, we took a choose your own adventure path and we did a virtual escape the room. So you have two buttons and you choose different options and it guides you through different videos and choices to escape the room. Uh, this is Bot Wheels. Uh, I have two cars back here that are uh, trying to get through these obstacles. One's trying to get through a maze and one is in the line track behind me here. Um, I, liked, uh, I did this because I had an interest in Arduinos and the previous things we did with them in our previous classes. Um, and I just wanted to kind of explore that a little bit more and see what they could do. too much screen time can have negative consequences on our health. A new study found that the average person spends nearly three hours on their phone each day. Researchers say too much screen time can increase loneliness, diminish concentration and creativity, and may lead to psychological disorders including depression, stress, anxiety, and insomnia. Don't you get my DM? How do you not open it? Come on. Come on. What's great? Just, 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 just open it. Check out my DM. Experts recommend a variety of ways to decrease your screen time. Those include deleting social media apps from your phone, disabling push notifications, avoid phone. So this is Seeing Sound. This is my uh, submission for the 425 capstone. Uh, basically what it is is it's a way for people to interact with sound in a different way and see it in a visual format. Um, you can put any sound into the microphone, whether it's your voice or music, anything like that, and it'll produce this visual based on uh, how the programming setup works.